So we are joined with a spoken host and Michelle Lizia. Uh, we'll take a minute off. Go for it. Just first of all, your emotions after the win, both of you. I mean, they're pretty high. Um, we're really excited. It was a, a good team win. We really battled it out. I think we started strong, which is what we were hoping to do. Um, we really worked on that, and you know, it was we really battled out to the end. But I think we need to. There's still stuff we can work on cleaning up at the end. Um, but it was good. Yeah, and I think it was good to come out with a shutout, come out with a win at home. Um, and really clean up that record. Um, Jane was doing some amazing saves at the end, so yeah, definitely some places we need to clean up and make sure that we sh finish off strong just like we started off. Um, but it was definitely a good win um, on this little home stretch that we have. And f for both of y'all, first goal for Michelle for the season and first goal for, Sof for Sophie in career. What's your thoughts over the goal? Because the both goals are what made the difference today. Um, it was, it was surreal. Um, I mean, I wasn't supposed to go in on the corner and it was kind of last minute, so that was exciting. <laughs> uh, just do anything to put it in the back of the net. It was great service. Um, fell right to me, right place, right time, but, um, it was, it was awesome. So I'm uh, really glad that, you know, I had my teammates there to celebrate with me and, um, you know, we, we kept the lead. So that was really important too. So it was good. Yeah, and I mean, on my goal, I think it was just a really good team goal, good hold-up play from D, a great ball from JoJo, and I was just able to be clinical around the box. So I think that we're really walking away with these team goals, um, really helping out our morale and just helping out our team play in general. And last one for me. Um, I think at the beginning of the season, not many people would have you as starting, but with your efforts and your performance in the team, you both are – you could say solid uh, starting starting eleven in the team regularly now. How does uh, your performance enhance the teamwork or just relationships on and on the field? Yeah, I mean, I think we just have a solid squad, um, and it's constantly rotating. Um, I think we both we both definitely took um, our our advantage of our opportunities, and we kept working hard and training. Um, we know that our bench is also really strong, and I like that it keeps us really competitive um, off the field, too, um, at training. And um, it's just a really good group, so it's really good to kind of have that competitive edge um, at all times. Um, but it definitely helps our team uh, grow and, and be better all together. Yeah, I would absolutely second that. You know, we pushing each other, having, having the depth to push each other um, off, you know, on training um, is really important. And so we get better every week. Um, and I think that, you know, having that really challenges us to be the best players we can be. So when we got the opportunity, we were ready. Um, and I, I know we both are just doing um, what we do best and how we can help the team. So knowing, knowing what we do best and really just going out there and working hard for the team. So we were, it was really being ready to take advantage of the opportunity, like Meech said. So I think it's uh, credit to the whole team because we, we push each other every day in training and um, that's how we can be the best we can be. Uh, Sophie, uh, mm -hmm. how did it feel to score that early to kind of give you guys the momentum? Yeah, I think it was really important and we, we are putting the set piece goals away is also important, you know, taking advantage of our corners, our free kicks. Um, not, not leaving those out in the open. So I think we came out strong and starting strong at home was a, you know, one, of a, one of the things that we were coming out to this game to really do. So I think it was an important one to put away. Um, but again, you know, getting up to the corner and the service and everything was right where it should have been. Uh, Michelle, uh, kind of same question for you. Uh, Orlando thought they were gonna be down 1-0 at the half. You guys, you made it 2-0 right before halftime. How did it feel to double that lead headed into halftime? And what did you guys talk at halftime to kind of keep that? Yeah, I think it was good to get that second goal in just so that we can carry on our momentum. We did, um, Soph did score pretty early on in the match. And we know it was still a really long game um, that we had to put away. And at halftime, we really just said that we have to continue. The, the second half is 0-0. Zero, zero. Um, we won the first half, but we definitely needed to win the second half um, to make sure that they didn't come um, with a comeback. And it's, it's literally a cliche to say, but 2-0 is a really dangerous, dangerous um, scoreline. And so we needed just to make sure that 
we continue the momentum that we ended with um, in the second half. Thank you. Thanks, Al. Thanks, Al. Thank you both. Thank, Thank you, guys.